mo bi bia ko baba daily update tv se nene de di kan ya oba channel so me so so be ko no ko tape on the subscribe button na fi so so whatsapp on the notification be se na bia se the new update bia to channel so e ma wa on so sabit mi ya kanu nya no hu nya e ko so ka na yin politics mo no hu ni o pesa o ye fa na sa so bi so so wa jin chu mi so odi be ko comment session ye be je na aken kan en so dia mo sa me ya me no de ka se die le ya dia na na do ene ba o mi ye ni so o mo ni digitalization ho pa yi enti o mo app will be about almost a fair app on a performance tracker app so app here my dear be near much around and say can a full be so more questions media for be so more questions corporate union for be so more questions do do effort dear or more the kind of for taxes a year because i'm so much a gunner for say how many taxes a year you ma but gonna focus on catch almost say oh my mood or more the taxes no a year Inti on that performance tracker app on almost a new one my in a how that performance tracker app on this so the gun of obit me a form of one normal laptop alcohol no more who knew mana more yen no more the more really easy this app on a buy-in and i a gun of obit brie a raise the concerns and questions a more warm a year mp zoo bro no more parliament house mp air question no more father up on them then people are going to raise the constant pie mp for boom constituency and i want to say so when the constituency says, "Yeah, I had a juma ah, almost all my work that performance track up on us, but we couldn't wait any longer. It was more that MP for the boom constituency, yeah, Mister Kofi Adams. Was so so choice. MP before a juma all my year. Oh, the constituency no. Oh my year she oh. I had him pass. So she was more quiet. She said, "Yeah, yeah." Me now they can say, "More tumpu ain't me for a quiet also." But over a year, or more performance tracker up on this one. I don't much trust it. Or more constructive quino. Come, 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 come. In Timmy, my uncle, tea as seven and three a year. On a book of fee, um, Adams, MP4, boom constituency. Our my young hoopy fee, say, a dear MP before, and talk a step on a more charge a gun of four. And talk perm and draw. In Timmy, uncle, she, or do you For some time now. This is our year. The media is asking questions on a regular basis. The fourth estate of the realm, holding government accountable. What has government done with the resources of the state? The answers are here. Civil society organizations, sometimes across various sectors, are asking questions. The answers are here. And, and here, uh, on an, an academic premises like, like this, this, you also, also know that the academia is always asking, asking questions. The answers are here. Possible for the information we consume. If you choose that you will spend uh, and I say this with the greatest of respect, you spend all your time on a particular social media platform consuming, uh, you know, half-truths, uh, false narratives, etc. You are responsible for that information you are consuming. The government of the Republic of Ghana is providing you a database where the facts about projects across the 261 districts are available. The least you can do is to navigate and be informed so that when you get into that conversation with somebody, you can speak to facts, facts that you yourself have verified on this particular app. And then we also want to encourage you to check for continuous updates because this is a live platform. It will be updated literally on a daily basis. So please continue to check for those continuous updates. Uh, for platforms of this nature all over the world, you may find one or two little uh, challenges here and there. Shortly, we will open up a feedback window so that you can give us that feedback. And then where corrections need to be made, those corrections can be made. We don't claim perfection, but the leader who is charged us to do this, the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, uh, is clear that this should be done. Well, the Western House Minister, guess what? Now, if he talks about people who have been asking questions of government promises to the people, especially that which is captured in the 2020 manifesto of the NPP, we're here on Ghana tonight on Manifesto Check have been asking those questions for the past seven weeks. Now, it says that there are some answers in there. So we're going to get into the, the, the app, I mean, the tracker, and get to see if we'll find some answers to the questions we've been asking of certain projects and the updates thereof. And then also some members of parliament have already started raising questions because they say some of the projects captured on the tracker cannot be found in their constituencies, even though on the tracker it says these are projects that have been completed. One of them is going to be joining us, but and all asking all the questions over the last seven weeks that we started this manifesto check. Kujo Ponkumar refers to media asking questions, and it's come straight to you. Yeah. So this digital platform that, that government has launched, enabling citizens, in, uh, that's the objective, to monitor the progress 
uh, and then also of government infrastructure development and the promises they made, known as this performance tracker, we understand a compilation of some 13,000 projects yes. have been put on in there. Along thematic areas, and that is to show the people of Ghana that their taxes are working for them. That's according to the information minister. He says that they've been asking questions, what is government using our money for? Mm. So now you have the opportunity of getting online to see what your money is doing for you. But even before this, we have been showing Ghanaians what, um, I mean, the government has been doing. Some, in some instances, we try to gauge what they promise and what they are delivering, what they mm. are delivered, and what they say they will deliver. Global Kofi Adams is a member of parliament for the Boehm constituency already. Um, a number of people raising questions about some of the data in there as to whether it is a reflection of the reality or the truth on the ground. Because some projects have been captured that when you go into these places, you don't find them there. So the, the spokesperson for the Works and Housing Ministry, I spoke to him earlier on, on Hot Edition on 3FM 92.7. I'm going to play that back. But the Honorable Kofi Adams, if you can hear me, good evening. Thank you very much for joining us here on, on Ghana tonight. Unfortunately... We, we lost him. We we'll try to reconnect with uh, Kofi Adams, Member of Parliament for the Boehm constituency. But this is a quote that is attributed to him. Kofi Adams, this is what he says. That there are, there's supposed to be a bridge between the Akar community and the Akar quarters that quote, they have done according to their tracker. They also claim they have done the road between the Guaman community and at Tonko, which had not been done. They place all these things in the tracker. And then also he continues that in my own constituency, they launch bridges they claim they have constructed, roads they claim they have done, when actually nothing has happened in my constituency, Boehm. Uh, that's uh, the quote attributed to Kofi Adams, who is a member of parliament for the Boehm constituency. We, we asked a question, and a number of you, um, on social media about this, and you, you've been sharing those experiences with us, and, and also Kofi Adams is joining us in a bit, but these are some of them. Kofi Adams, can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening. Now, there's a statement that's attributed to you about some projects on this tracker that you say is, uh, you can't find in your constituency, these bridges and so on. Where, where exactly are these bridges that in, on the tracker have been completed, but you say you cannot find? Exactly so. I think it's a bit worrying for government to spend our resources to put up a delivery tracker and performance tracker that when you trace, you cannot find those projects on the ground. Specifically, in my constituency, a number of projects that have been stated both in the 2020 delivery tracker and the 2024 performance tracker that cannot be found on the ground. The road claimed to, be, to have been constructed between Guama and Atonko does not exist. Indeed, that place, you cannot even use a motorbike on that road as we speak now. The bridge allegedly down between Aka and Aka Cortes does not exist because no bridge has been constructed there. Indeed, in the uh, performance tracker also launched today, it is reported that the Bodada Jasikan Road has been upgraded and is 100% complete. That is equally a lie. That road cannot be even 35% uh, complete because it's still in the bad state that it finds itself. They also report that Lipe Bakwa to Jolu Road is 100% complete. It is not true. It's not 100% complete. At which, least which, I road, use which, which road again? Which, what was the name of the road? Which that Lipe Bakwa Lipe. to Jolu. Jolu is a community in my constituency. Okay. And Lipe Bakwa is in the Guam district. Okay, so, and so there's a road that is supposed to connect Lipe Bakwa to Jolu. And it is reporting in the performance record that is 100% complete, 
that is also not true. Hold and on, hold on. Done, hold on for me yeah. because we are fact checking what you just said. Let, let's, Dennis. Go into the tracker, let's see. Is, so, it, is it the case that there's a road that um, sure. is so captured in there? I have been able to filter some of the projects in the OT region. Mm -hmm. So when you go to OT region, you can further filter the projects. I see. So I've just filtered routes for OT region. Okay. And these are the routes that have come up. Um, upgrading of Jen Jen. Uh, I, I'm sorry yeah. I can't pronounce this, but it's obviously it, not it, what he's talking about. This is, I'm interested in border that we just can... Okay. Border to Jasica, it tells you status. Hundred percent. Yes, that's okay. the, the one so, at the top there. Yes. So this is the border that Jasica. Feeder road. They say it's hundred percent. Let's click it and see how it looks like. Because some of the so projects come with pictures. They, they don't come with pictures. So this is it. Upgrading of border da to Jasica feeder road. Um, they say it's a six kilometer road. Uh, beneficiaries are here. They said it's hundred percent complete. They said it started from twenty twenty, and then the end date was twenty twenty two. And you're not confident as you so say this that is it, this, this, this has not been done. It's not been done. I, not a single bit to me has been placed on that road from Jessica to Godada. Nowhere. Covers have been done and that is all. Not a single bit to me has been placed on that road. And to report that Jessica to Godada road is 100% complete, it's a complete lie. In the same vein, like I told you, the little backward to Jolu Road that is reported as 100% complete is also false. Then it's also reported in the same performance tracker that construction of some drainage in New Baika, 98% complete. No drainage construction is going on in New Baika for them to report that that is the case. Then also that a single story border post that is supposed to have been 50% complete at uh, Baglu. There is nothing like that also at Baglu. So clearly, you, I just can't tell what it is that the government is reporting on. That small town water system in Kute and Kuji, that is 50% complete. Also, it's non-existent. And ah. to go beyond that, and to come to my own school, Bishop Emma College, where I attended, they are reporting that St. Augustine's House, House 1, which received us, that work in that house is 100% complete. I was in the school just on Tuesday, 26 March 2024. That project, nothing has happened to it. And for government to spend our money to report that in Bishop Emma College, St. Augustine's House, House 1, has been completed 100%. Another lie. Look, the best performance, the best way to measure our performance will be in our pockets. We will okay. not spend money to go and follow a, a tracker or a performance, whatever, that is deceptive. That is a lie. That okay. you will hear things and mention things that don't exist on the ground. And you use words to deceive people. Our, the best way to determine the performance tracker is in our pocket. When you drive from your home going to work, you will see the bad roads. When people leave what are going to just account, they will see the bad roads. So it is not the tracker that you have launched that will deceive them. The unemployment levels, we feel it, we see it. The Ghana Statistical Service says today the unemployment rate is 14.7%. When you were taking over this country, it was 8.4%. You have increased unemployment to 14.7%. This cannot be a government that will tell you that they have performed. But this, this, this is... Um... Um, a, a very progressive move, if you ask me. At least it gives Ghanaians a fair idea of what government is doing. I mean, the next step is we're just hoping that government will open its doors so that we really can go onto the ground and authenticate some of these things. Because mm. for our experience on Manifesto Check, on a number of occasions we've tried to, ha to get access to some places to bring to Ghanaians what government is doing with their money, but we are often not given. That so access. they restrict access to these places. Yes, for some so of the places. even though they've given GPS locations to some of these projects, yes. it's not enough. It, so you, yes, you so what I'm saying is that they should not give us access to also get onto the ground so that it so corroborates what they are the saying. The security should not stop us. Stop us. From so that if, so, for instance, we are going to trade fair, for instance, see what's going on there, okay. should give us access to go there. Right. When we are going to the Quadrasu, uh, Creative at Senior High School, they yeah. should want us access to go there. Absolutely. At the end of the day, we are telling Ghanaians what the government is doing. Yes, Unless, of course, there's nothing to show true. for they, it. They've invited us to fact-check this, what they've put in there. So really? this is the so, interface, right? This yes, so this is the interface. So when you go onto the... This is the web 
the web side of it. Mm -hmm. um, so when you when you input performance tracker.gov.gh, you would get an interface like this. Okay. So if you are on your phone or your laptop, you can just come along with us, just so that we all experience it to see how it works. Oh, I see. And then you begin to look for the various sectors. So they mm -hmm. put them in education, there's health, there's road and transport, um, there's digitalization, there's jobs, government flagship programs, and all that you need to know about the economy, there's energy, food security, and all that. Now there's a part of it that allows you to check, they say, our achievements. Mm -hmm. And when you click that, they put the achievements along themes. They put them in categories, by ministries, by regions, by projects. And I like the part where there is all projects summary. All projects So summary. when you go there, it gives you an overview of all the projects that they've been doing in the various sectors. I see. So if, for instance, you are looking for projects on, say, like, um, one village, one dump. When you go there, it gives you a summary of all the projects that they are doing in that respect. When you want projects in Agenda 111, when you go there, you see all the projects in Agenda 111. Mm -hmm. So it makes it um, very easier for you. There's also a media part where you get to see videos and pictures and all the visu visualization that you need to go by um, just to see what's happening there. There are also web articles. And then there's also another part of it that allows you to search, like actually search for. So if, for instance, you're looking for a certain project that you know its name, but for some reason you are unable to, mm -hmm. to get it on any of the categories or to filter it, you can just go straight to the site search where you can click it and input the name of that um, project there, I see. then it will pop up. It's, it's taking a while to, to, to load up, and wh while it's loading, let me just do this quickly. Uh, it's quite a heavy site because it has a lot yes. of this, this, um, there's a lot sitting data on the site. in the visuals we're seeing. Uh, the